Oh, you know what? You know what helps? When you turn off the well first. Without down, I'm getting penetration on that. Ah, I'm switching to my mask. My full face mask instead of this half mask. I'm going to old trusty. It's definitely getting particulates. So I'm not really sure how to go about doing this. So I've just put some cross beams similar to the ones that are already there, um, except they're one bys. that flat one, and that flat one way yonder, if you can see it, and that way at least when I get the roof off, I can put a couple straps down, I need to uh, probably do another one there, span this distance, man, I quit. Okay, so we got good news and bad news. We might have double good news and or double bad news. Man, that sun, I just, oh God. All right, so I got good news and bad news, possibly double and double. Uh, interesting test for the wind thing here because we got 35 mile an hour gust today, so see if this wind beard is doing anything. We're kind of sheltered by the house from the house here, but about to blow the camera over, so matter of fact, Okay, so good news, get a new roof. Got enough money saved up, get a new roof from the same dude who did my mother-in-law's roof and my brother-in-law's roof 20 some odd years ago. And which is a good sign because both their roofs are in great condition 20 years later and they've had no issues. So I got a quote, just under $5,000. And as soon as I got that, I'm, I jumped on it because the other quotes I'd gotten were closer to six or seven and that was before COVID. Bad news is I haven't replaced this soffit and fascia yet. And so I thought to myself, well shit, you know, it's been nice for the last two or three days and now it's in its thirties and it's only going to get colder, but they're coming next week. So I don't have much choice if I want to get it off. So I'm like, well, I'll just come out today. I started thinking about, well, really, I just got to rip off the fascia. I just pop new fascia on and I can worry about the soffit and the trim later. Probably talking too loud. I got my earphones on and it's windy. At any rate, it quickly occurred to me that that see that's uh, it's futile. I can't. I can't. I can't. So I'm just going to let them do it. And it's a 7 inch, it's a 7 inch drip edge. So I don't know if you can see where the little tiny drip edge stops there, but the new one is going to come down, you know, halfway on the thing. So that's why it needs to be done prior to, but what I'm going to do, since none of this is actually rotted out like a lot of the other areas were, I'm just going to leave it, let them do their thing, and then get an electrician out here in the next month or so, have them set a pole in the ground, or I'll set a pole in the ground, and have them mount all my stuff on it, coming from the main pole here to a drop down, to a drop in pole, and then they can move all my boxes, can move all my boxes from my wall, boxes from my wall onto my pole. I'm going to sit right here and uh, go underground. We'll dig a little trench. I already have it dug and we'll run everything underground into the house. Um, or at least underground up to right to maybe we'll leave the boxes. I don't know how exactly how it works. But either way, we're getting all this action off the ledger board and all this. And then I'll come by and I'll rip off, every, rip off the plastic vinyl, rip off the press board on the bottom, 
and uh, I'll just cover this piece with board because these things won't be there anymore and then I, you know it'd be way easier and I just cover over this piece of press board and I'll put new shit on the bottom no big whoop and uh, or maybe I'll even maybe I'll just maybe I'll it's just it's razor thin right so maybe I'll just cut all along that trim edge and cut the remaining press board that's underneath it away replace it with the same piece of thickness regular board and then just go over the whole thing and match it up probably what I'll do but either way all of that sounds like a better idea than trying to fuck around with all that electricity right there which I have no desire to do and the more and more I think about it like I'm just like that's why I put it off this long and uh, yeah I'm just I'm not into it I'm not gonna do it I'd rather just have it pulled from the house anyway so and go underground with it be better because we're gonna get a storm shelter built here probably around the same time we get that done and that's gonna have to have electricity so probably just do it all as one fell swoop with the whole electric thing just run it run electricity where I need it out here and uh, and and get it off the house and onto a, a separate pole and underneath and all that jazz so yeah that's the plan Jan but uh, so yeah good news for the roof but bad news for my laziness slash procrastination slash being broke for too long to take care of the things when I should have taken care of them but it is what it is and it will be what it will be what will be will be Que ta to 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 si to Que sorrisi sorro sorro Cazorisi ra Oh my goodness, so often in my life I've never been thanked about the marinade Thank, thank, thank about the Man, George is rubbing off on me Never think about the marinating, I don't And uh, I'm thinking about it today earlier So needless to say, the old lady has gone to work A big dinner thing for uh, one of her friends who's retired um, Got COVID Laying on the couch, pretty sure is the end. And uh, a couple weeks later, after she recovered, she's like, you know what? I think I'm done working. <laughs> she's like 68. It's about time. Uh, so, everything's been marinating for now, like four hours. We're going to fire outside. I'm about to go start the pit. And uh, I just wanted to tell y'all, because I'm not going to show you all, right? I'm probably show you pre made. I'm going to assemble them in here and then take them outside. So you, but, but I'm not going to show you cook. My phone's out there right now. I'm listening to the program and I'm just. Just giving you the update, update. But yeah, I'll do a little, do a little. How you doing in a minute? And at least you can get the idea. Not that you probably didn't have the idea already. I mean, it's not. It's shish kebab. It's not rocket science. <laughs> that process one more time and then I'm gonna call the old lady and see if she wants me to cook her some tonight for in the morning or just wait or what all right well, you get the idea then, but whatever let's go eat so this is my chair that I bought almost exactly a year ago and I thought it was crooked because I always sit sideways in my chairs but no it's not crooked I just uh, broke it broke it on account of I sit sideways in chairs, so this bad boy should be, it's really hard to do this, I should have brought the tripod out, so yeah, that, uh, that belongs there, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to, uh, try my best not to lose all the freaking pieces, and I'm going to just go ahead and drop some epoxy down in those holes seal it up and then try to insert these drill it out and try to insert these bolts back in see if that doesn't fix it <laughs>
do now is wait. It's time tomorrow to see how she girds. So yeah, there's epoxy down in the holes, and then there's epoxy right there on the bolt. I don't know if I'm doing anything. There's a bolt back there where that hole is also. Same thing. So, And this channel where it's ripped had gouged out, and that's where the whole thing had gone cattywampus. And uh, I thought the whole chair was on tilt, but it was just the back piece that was causing my... Yep. That's why my back's been hurting recently too, so I don't know. See if it works. If not, I'll pull it out. I'll make sure those holes are completely filled with epoxy, even if I gotta fill the whole guy back of the chair. If this doesn't work, I may and I may have to block the back of that with a piece of wood to fill the holes. But yeah, we'll get it we'll get it going. I can't be throwing away a six hundred dollar chair that's a year old. <laughs> if somebody's moving in or what but they're definitely surveying the line I mean they're surveying something so yeah we're pretty sure that this front five acres is not owned by them you know the people that own the barn I don't think this five acres is owned by them so uh, maybe somebody bought it maybe she's having it surveyed to sell it no telling truly this seemed like a phenomenal idea when I was uh, quite inebriated and uh, looking at Amazon Prime, but this is huge. <laughs> and I mean, even the even the line when I just expected not to even. I honestly thought it would be about half that size. It's really pretty freaking big. Quite substantial. Quite substantial, though. So, I mean, if you're going to squeeze it, squeeze it right, I guess, right? I will uh, get these washed up and make room in the drawer for these. And Oh, oh little finger in the frame. How you doing there, little fingers? Oh, I apologize. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, yeah, the old Fresh Force 2000 for fuck's sakes. Or for fark socks. I apologize. The Fresh Force suture. I guess you could probably get the... Did you get the orange and use it for all of them? I don't know. I don't know. Can you? Is that even allowed? Oh my goodness. What have I done?
see not but we have these here brackets that we're going to attempt attaching our corners and uh, and uh, I have bought I have bought these uh, braces I need to have you on some hard focus situations okay so yeah so I brought these braces thinking that would do the job um, it won't do the job it won't do the job so uh, then you have oval holes if you're going to use braces like that. Um, that's why the center holes here are bigger so that the screw can float. Um, and then uh, and then put a fender washer, you know, with a small hole and a big diameter, exterior diameter uh, circumference. Uh, I think that's the one. Um, so that the it'll be taut, it'll be pulled taut against the counter, but that there can be vertical, vertical. And look at the focus, just fuck with the focus. Um, vertical movement, according to a, to a needing to swell and humidity changes and all that stuff. That's why you can't just lock it down tight, or you'll crack the hell out of your wooden counter. Apparently, so. All right, so taking that into account, uh, we're gonna use these and uh, I'll create a brace and get some fender washers. Come on, focus, fuck. And uh, yeah, so let's do that. <laughs> Thank you. 
that is looking pretty good. We're pretty level that way. Pretty good right there. I mean, it could be better. It's not perfect. But considering how warped it was. Um, but yeah, that's that. I'll leave the drawers out to the old lady gets up so I can vacuum out uh, all, the, all the dusty, all the dusty fellers. All the dusty fillers and particulates that are that are all over your under drawer, thusly. And uh, yeah, that's one more thing done.
much you can hear, and I don't know how much you can see, but the big screws that aren't charcoal gray like that, and the small screws that aren't charcoal gray like that, presuming, presuming you could have seen that, uh, are all screws that I added. Because they had one, two, three, four, and this whole run. One, two, three, four. They might have had five in that one. I think I put in both of those though. So I think they had four in this run. There were spots on these back and front runs that they hadn't done anything. I looked at the roof carefully when I was up there. It looked like they did the roof well. But look, there's one screw. All those are mine. That was their next screw. Really? Five feet between screws? That's the protocol? Look, another one. So I know mine aren't even, but good God. Like, the only reason they've got two that close is because it's where two pieces meet. But yeah, so I don't know what the f they were thinking. $5,000. And they didn't even finish the job. Like, look here. Like, that was the last one in the run. So they had this much just flapping in the fucking breeze. Like, what the f Same thing on the side. The last one was right there. This whole section. I mean, like, what the f What the actual f So. But whatever. I mean, it occurred to me that I probably should have uh, ordered charcoal colored screws. Not that I really care. And again, I plan on building a a wraparound deck here in the next couple of years for most of this. So you won't be able to see that anyway. You'll be able to see the ones in the front that I have to replace because we'll probably call it the same fuckers. <laughs> I don't know anybody else. I mean, maybe we'll call it somebody else, but... Alright, that's done. Now nah, I think i got to fix the well. say maybe I don't have to fix the well because it's not leaking out the pipe anymore but then I realize the pipe's not attached. Now that's definitely not good and that probably means it's leaking. Yeah, I think it's definitely leaking. Yep, definitely leaking. Hopefully it's uh Hopefully it's this pressure valve, because I got a couple of those inside, and I'm definitely going to have to rebuild this thing pretty soon. Yeah, so she's definitely leaking for sure. All right, let's replace that pressure valve. I don't know man, these things are hit and miss. Sometimes they last a couple years and sometimes they wear out in a couple months. You 
know what? You know what helps? When you turn off the well first. Holy shit. What an idiot. Okay. <clears throat> Got the well off. Good thing. I didn't... Uh, I really did turn it off. I'm gonna leave more pressure. Alrighty. I don't know that I have a. I don't know that I've ever had a non-adjustable. A non-adjustable pressure valve. But I guess we will now. Turn everything back on, see if we got leakage or not. Well, I see some dripping, but that not, not, not necessarily be a, a problem. That could just be residual. That's supposed to actually drip out from pressure buildup, so I just kind of got to wait. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to rebuild this soon. This is heavier. Yeah, I don't know. That's definitely a little bit of drip action. So that looks residual. Not like the semi-steady stream that was coming out before, so we'll give it a tear or two. See how she girds.